Hello RC friends, welcome to another episode of RC, uh, RC Oldies but Goldies. Today we have a T28 Frosion from Park Zone. This is the 110 centimeter version. It's not the newer, it's like the oldest version. This is the Air Force word colors. And it is going to be my rookie son's uh, first flight on this one. So let's see if it is going to be a good second plane just transitioning for him from three channel to four channels. The wind is not too bad, uh, maybe five miles an hour or so. So let's get started. I'm going to take it up in the air, do the trimming, and then I'm going to let him take over. Okay, so let's take off, right? All right, wish us luck. Time to go. That didn't sound right. Is it the nose wheel or was it the... What's happening? Oh, maybe the bottom is making that sound, the yeah, broken yeah. piece? Okay. So I think this is, this is vibrating. There's a broken plastic if you see on the bottom. We got this uh, used from an aero junkie friend of ours. And I think this is just vibrating. What I'm going to do is just put a little piece of tape just to make sure it's coming from that. Just give me a second. Raise it up towards me. If you can find one, we can still probably get. And we have a passenger, a little spider was crawling. can get another cow for it if it is still in stock at Horizon Hobby or a main hobby. Okay, so let's see if this is going to make a difference, hopefully. All right. Oh, the landing gear was like, did you see that? Going So let me trim it a little bit. I think it flies pretty through. I don't see any, any issue. I'm at uh, about 50% throttle now. Are you ready? Yeah. It's your plane. Whoa. Yeah, those, those high rates. Wow, can you take over? I take over. It's kind of hard to fly with the high rates. Of, like I do a small movement in front of me, like bang. Really? Yeah. But try again. You can get used to it, probably. Yeah. Well, let me turn it around a little bit, and then when it's a straight flying to, towards right, I'll give it to you. Are you ready? Uh, could you bring it around? Okay. I'm just going to bring it around, flying towards the wind. Okay. Ready? Your plane. Is it going down? Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, I take over. Can you decrease the up trim quite a bit? It's really down over there. Unless it's going to make a difference. Ready? Your. He's trying to turn yeah, bank left. left. You take over again. I take over and then you trim it. Ready? Uh -huh. well, let me put it straight. At yours. Is it reacting? Yeah, it's reacting. I just, I, it's because kind of hard to tell where it's going. Really? Yeah. You take over? I take over. It's like, I don't know. The, the color scheme, maybe. 
I'm just not, I'm not really comfortable flying it. Right? This, is, this is the time you fly it, okay? Yeah. It's your plane. And once you get used to it, I mean, I am here for that purpose, for you to get stick time on it. Yeah. So I can take over whenever there's something. So if you're turning left right now, banking yeah. left. And once it, you, you get used to it, you can bring it a little lower and then that way you will know which way you're flying. You're doing good. I know, it, it must be really touchy on the sticks because I'm at the 40% and you are flying it at 100%. And there were a lot of throws. And we can't change those throws uh, mechanically when we take it home. Yeah. We can put the control rods to the outermost holes on the on the control surfaces and then uh, like middle holes on the servos that way will give it uh, less travel on the control surfaces. Yeah, you're already getting used to it, right? Yeah, you are. Before you're just saying, take it, take it. <laughs> now you are just cruising around. Do you want me to adjust the, your while you're doing it? Yeah. Better? Better. Try now. Yeah, it's better. Flies really fast. Flies fast? Yeah. Put it, yeah, of course. The Super Cup is a low and slow airplane. You can try putting it a little uh, lower throttle. Yeah, like, I just did. And then you can increase the, I can help you increase the up, up trim a little bit. Better? So that way it will fly a little slower. And I will make sure that I have it higher throttle. In case I have to take it over. So you're already getting nice and closer to us, so I guess you're getting used to it. So you're doing right hand turn, right? Yeah. It's good to mix it up and maybe even to figure eight. Even like that, oh, you, you increase the throttle? Yeah. But that's good then, uh, the trim is good because when you increase the throttle, it's supposed to climb. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. It is really fun. These airplanes are really fun once you get a hang of it. But yeah, you, you have to take it slow and get used to it. It's going to be very different with ailerons before you are controlling everything with the rudder and the dihedral angle on the Super Cub. Yeah. Even the Bixler is easier than this. Probably more stable, it's like a longer wings and a little more docile compared to this one. This is a warbird, so these are made to maneuver in real life. And on this specific one, the control throws were like an aerobatic plane. Probably because Rafe was flying it, he's very experienced. The person he bought this from, he's very experienced. So he, he liked it probably that way, with a lot of throws, so he can do aerobatic maneuvers with it. Are you still trying to slow it down a little bit or? No. Okay. Yeah, the color scheme on this one is not the greatest because it's so dark. Behind the bright sky, it looks very dark and difficult to see which way it's banking, for example. Yeah. I think that's the reason Ray put some yellow markings on the bottom. I think that's not stock. And we can actually paint the bottom completely yellow if you want, or put more 
yellow tape, which may help. See those yellow markings. But once you get used to these rates, you should be fine. Do you want to use my radio instead? It's fine. Are you sure? I think I need to use these rates. Oh, that <laughs> looks like there was an accident over there. A hard landing. Do you want me to land? No, just go. Yeah, there, there's. I think the battery is brand new. It should be. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, let me. Do you want me to land it? Yeah. All right. So let's come this way. Coming in for landing. All right, very nice. That was a good flight, Bora. Yeah. Good first, great first flight. I mean, we'll tweak it, but it flew beautifully. And the landing was actually gentler than mine. I usually, when I'm landing mine, because I don't have a dual, dual ace on it, yeah. I usually overcompensate and then balloon it up. So this one was really nice. But during the takeoff, did you see that it was trying to go yeah, towards the left? Uh, we may have to look at the landing gear. Oh like yeah, it's bent and it's trying to go into one direction, I think. Pull it. So what we have to do is when we... Maybe I may have the tools, but it'll bend it back. Okay, I'm going to put this down now. Yeah, so that's the issue. The landing gear is kind of like crooked. If you look at this, it is kind of not, not only looking to the right a little bit, but also there's a lot of gaps. So I may have to put like a washer to close the space because it was going like this and then when it rotates like that, it's just trying to either turn it or slow the plane down. But overall, I mean, these T28 Trojans are great. Second planes, maybe even third planes, depending how you set it up. If you set it up at low rates, they fly great as a second plane. If someone is transitioning from three channel to four channels, this will be the way to go. But I always recommend body boxing with somebody experienced and not trying to do the maiden flight by a rookie. Because that's just waiting to happen. A heartbreak. Good job, Bora. 